Hello friends, myself Mudas Sarnasar. Today we are going to learn about rational numbers. What rational numbers are? Till now we have learned about whole numbers, natural numbers, integers. What are whole numbers? The number which starts from zero. The number which starts from zero. Natural numbers, all the numbers that start from the number one. And next, integers. All the numbers that can be represented over a number line are called as integers. Yes, the integers can be negative also and positive as well. Now, the next thing we are going to learn is rational numbers. What actually are rational numbers? Are now simply we can say rational numbers are the integers are the integers which are in the form of p upon q but not equal to zero which one is not equal to zero yes where this p upon q where the value of q is not equal to zero these are called as rational numbers yes now the rational numbers or the rational numbers, these can be positive also and negative also. Yes, listen very carefully. The rational numbers are positive as well as negative. Apart from this, the rational numbers do perform some operations. Yes, they do perform some operations and with these operations, like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. They are having a few properties also. Now what are the basic properties we are going to learn under this chapter. This is the first chapter and we say it as rational numbers. Now in this chapter we are going to learn about first the closure property. Now what do you mean by the closure property? Yes, the rational numbers are closed under addition. That means they are closed under addition. What do you mean by that? That means the addition of two rational numbers. For example, A and B are two rational numbers. The addition of these two numbers will be equal to a different rational number, but it will be a rational number. Next, they are enclosed under subtraction. That means when you are going to subtract, Two rational numbers, definitely you are going to get a third rational number. Yes, you are going to get a third rational number. Now, for example, 25 minus 11. Definitely, I saw that the result, the result is a rational number. Now, what is the result? 25 minus 11. And what is that? That is 40. Now, again you can say that, sir, you told me that it should be in the, P of, in the form of P upon Q. Yes, it is in the form of P upon Q. So, 14 can be written as 14 upon 1 also. Yes, that is why it is said as a rational number. Now, next, it is enclosed under the property of multiplication also. That means, the multiplication of two rational numbers, for example, P multiplied by Q, will be equal to R. Where P is also a rational number, Q is also a rational number, and R is also a rational number. For example, 4 upon 7 multiplied by 9 upon 8. So it will be equal to 36 upon 56. Again, you can see that it is again a rational number. But it is not enclosed under division. Why I say that it is not enclosed under division? The reason for that is if you are going to divide it by 0. If you are going to divide it by 0, definitely it is not defined or some say that it is infinite. But simply we say it as it is not being defined. So this is what about closure property. So all the rational numbers are enclosed under addition, subtraction, multiplication, but not under division. But not under division.
addition, subtraction, multiplication, but not under division. Now, the very next property we are going to see is the commutative property. Now, what do you mean by the commutative property? Now, what is that commutative property? Yes, a rational number can be put or can be there in any order. Now, but this is again also correct for addition and multiplication. For example, there is a rational number 7 upon 8. And there is one more rational number, 1 upon 8. Definitely you are going to add them. The bases are same, the denominators are same, they are going to be added. The result will be 8 upon 8. This is again a rational number. But when you go for subtraction, if you change the order, it will not remain. It will not remain a rational number. So, for example, 7 by 8. Minus 1 by 8, this will become 6 by 8. But if you change the order, this will be 1 by 8, this will be 7 by 8. Now again, will you find the same answer? No, the answer is changed. That is why it is being enclosed, commutative properties being followed for addition as well as multiplication. Even in the multiplication, you change the order 5 by 6 plus 3 by 2. Not multiplication, that is 5 by 6 multiplied by 3 by 2. Even if you interchange these, the answer will remain same, that is 15 upon 12. So the next property is commutative property. The next property is commutative property. So even if you change the order, the answer remains same. This is being followed as commutative property, where it is correct for addition and as well as for multiplication. Now, the next thing, again, it is not being followed by, not being followed by division. So here, division is again being excluded, where it was only excluded in the first case. The very next thing we are going to learn is associative property. Associative, that means association. That means association. Association means bringing up together, making them close together. Yes. Now, for example, let's go for addition. Let's go for addition. Now, here in the case of addition, when you are thinking about associative property, when you are thinking about the associative property, simply for example, there are two rational numbers. Let's say it A, B. And again, C. Now, in association, in association, when you are actually bringing it together, when you are bringing it together, close together, yes, when you are bringing it together and very close together, again, even if you change the orders, for example, A is being added after once the B plus C is added, the answer will remain changed. The answer will remain unchanged. So here even if A plus B is being added plus C. Now for example we replace it. Suppose that A is the value of A is 6. The value of B is uh, value of A is 1, B is 6 and it is 7. Now even if you change the order the 1 plus 6 plus 7. The answer will remain same 14 in both the cases. In both the cases, the answer will remain as it is. But it is not being again applicable for subtraction. It is not being applicable for subtraction. Now, can we go for the multiplication? Yes, associated property can be followed for multiplication. The answer will remain same. The answer will remain same as it is. So, associate for closure, addition, subtraction and multiplication, completely only for addition and multiplication, but here for associative, it is again for addition and multiplication, the subtraction and 
division are again excluded. They are not being included in this. Got it? Now, next one is distribution. Distribution that means division. Distribution that means division. Simply we can divide the things. For example, we have to divide two chocolates into three persons or four chocolates into three persons. This is called distribution. Yes? Or we have to di uh, distribute 19 toys between a few persons. That is how it goes. Yes? Now, again, distribution is being applicable for. Now, it is actually a combined property. How? It is actually a property which is being for addition and subtraction. For addition and subtraction over multiplication. Over multiplication. Yes? Now, for example, there are two rational numbers. Similarly, multiplicative inverse is actually 
the reciprocal of the number is actually the reciprocal of the number which on multiplying with the number makes the result zero. So if you, someone asks you about the additive property and the multiplicative property or the additive identity is zero and the multiplicative identity is one. Now you understand about the different properties we have learned about the rational number. Closure, commutative, associative as well as distributive property.